just to show you how far the functional approach can go because Haskell really is high level abstract, phenomenally powerful at doing what it can do. It can do it in the most amazingly brief one-liners. And there's an example here I'll just write out for you. Something that you could all work out how to do in the programming language of your choice. It's this. I'll give you an array, a list of integer numbers. Some of which are even, some of which are odd. They're all mixed up. But the idea is to filter your way through that list, just go through them and filter out only the ones that are even and then square all of those even numbers and add them together. So let's say inside a great long list, uh, I just happen to have put in two, four and six and those are the only even numbers there are, there's lots of odd ones. Now you can imagine how to do that imperatively. You can imagine using a loop to go along a mixed array of numbers. You can imagine doing a low level check for whether things are integer divisible by two or not. That decides whether they're even. And then when you've got those, you have a running total going on. You square them, you add them, but ah, but ah, but ah. You'd get there. In Haskell, here's what you do. It's incredible. You just say sum map up arrow two, that's in brackets, Filter, even, n, s. Now, n, s is your array, if you like, your list of mixed integer numbers, some of which are even, some of which are odd. Let's read this from right to left. It makes life so much easier. This n, s here is your list of mixed integer numbers, some of which are even, some of which are odd. Applied to n, s is the operation of give me the even ones. You see, absolutely declarative. Give me the even ones out of that list. So filter out the even ones out of that list and you'll get that, shall we say, the only even ones are two, four and six for the sake of argument. Everything else is odd. So you end up with a sub list, two, four and six. And then look at this. It says map the squaring operation through whatever sub list you've now got. So it says for every one in that sublist, two, four, and six, square it. Give me another list of squared up numbers. So two squared is four, four squared is 16, 16 and four is 20, six squared is 36, 36 and 20. The overall answer, 56. So this is how you do it, look. You write the word sum outside all of that. You get your parentheses matching correctly throughout this, hopefully, and uh, then that does it for you, out comes 56. But again, just to say that this one liner is doing for you in Haskell, what would take you quite a bit of detailed imperative programming to do in C or Java or whatever is your favorite programming language.